I uh, want to talk a little bit about my experience with Italian and American collaboration in physics. Um, one of the most important aspects of fundamental science is that it is such a worldwide enterprise. We collaborate between scientists from countries all over the world and it's very common and we don't even think about it. In physics, in fundamental physics, my field, international collaboration between American and Italian physicists has been integral to my entire career in physics. As a very young student, it was actually Enrico Fermi's little monologue on nuclear physics that profoundly influenced my research direction where I went to do science. As an undergraduate student in Berkeley, the tremendous excitement was the discovery of the antiproton by Emilio Segre, a uh, prominent Italian physicist in Berkeley. And throughout my professional career, I've had many Italian collaborators who have had profound impact on my work. I've spent 10 years doing research at the Gran Sasso Laboratory near L'Aquila in collaboration with physicists from many Italian universities. And my present research uh, that led me to the Nobel Prize involves very close cooperation and collaboration with the Italian Virgo Project uh, near Pisa. Importantly, the strong Italian involvement in research and in physics was really begun by Eduardo Amaldi, who was so important to rebuilding Italian and European research in physics after World War II, establishing the CERN laboratory, and initiating gravitational wave research at the University of Rome. Finally, I should comment that I have an ongoing relationship with the Gran Sasso Scientific Institution, Institute, which uh, involves uh, innovative PhD granting a program uh, that's been built following the devastating earthquake in L'Aquila. Italian and American collaboration in physics has a long history and, more importantly, a very bright future.